Welcome back, folks, to some more Arcana. I'm your host, the Lug Lug Hoarder. <laughs> Me so funny. Hey, bitch. What you know about Rosa Boro? Rosa Boro, I've only been there once. Victor and I traveled there to visit the grave of his father. I've never been since. Small town, rather boring here. I'll show you where it is. Okay, bye, Miss Lady. Thank you, sir, and good luck on your travels. Good luck to you. Little Jew. Me going to put my ring on and become smart lug lug for a minute. Me kind of curious about these cocksucky maid and butler. Hello, Wesley. Have you a moment? Okay. Maybe you don't have anything to say to me. All right. Maybe I've gone too far along. Going back to Dumb Lug Lug. Hello, everyone. Dumb Dumb Lug Lug back. This is the Lug Lug song. So swing your dong and eat my kong. That's not how it goes. I get my own song already. Mystic Menagerie. That place sounds like a whorehouse. us, fool. Me, fool? Ha, look at you. You look stupid. Maybe me help. Hell, I do not think you can help the fact that my partner's an imbecile. Make that ex-partner. What happened? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. I chose the wrong business partner, that's what. Everyone warned me, don't go into business with this stupid ass. They're only asking for trouble. You know, listen, them. We worked together for years. We had a small gardening business. Fancy, but it paid the bill. I never let Terry handle any of the financial work. Took care of that myself. I was so stupid to trust him with the last transaction. Why he do? We decided to retire, so we put our equipment up for sale. It wasn't long before we found an interesting party, but I had to go to Toronto on business. I left Terry with explicit instructions on what he wasn't was acceptable price. Why he get? Beans! He sold all our tools for three supposedly magical beans. I didn't believe him at first. But I've seen the receipt. It's true. The tool should have bought 2,000 coins at least. But no, not with this blithering idiot in charge. Ha <laughs> That's funny. He dumbass. You get them checked for magic? Chet, are you insane? Whoever heard of magic beans? Should have heard the lies they told him. Been in the family for generations. Great powers. Created by some ancient wizard. What a crock of shit. Me buy beans. Me pay 1,000 coin. You want to buy them? Terry, I found a bigger idiot than you. I didn't think it was possible. You can't be serious, sir. Uh, really? Me buy? Give 1,000 coin. Still laughing. Oh, you're too much. Well, you got yourself a deal. Here, take them. He gives you the beans and takes the coin from you. Me go now. You stupid halfling. I like beans, dick licker. And the magic beans, what do they do? Well, they resurrect you and heal you to full. So, in case we have any crazy untimely deaths, we have the magic beans. Well worth a thousand gold. Well worth it. Magic bean, magic bean. Look, look, got the magic bean. The gods are looking for. He has us all quite scared around here, he does. Thank you! 
Who in charge here? What is it? Not you, asshole. Guard, guard, guard. Where's the actual boss man? We might need the intelligence ring. I would like to get this quest started if possible. Generate, sir. There's a madman on the loose out there. And you're interested. This is nothing to play, I'm concerned. Perhaps I can help. I knew more about the murders. I can tell you what I've seen. It was the most horrible vision I've ever beheld. A pale skin, slight shadow of a man kneeling over Emily in the blood. It was a sight I shall never forget. Start from beginning, if you would. We were out working, and Emily had forgotten something or another at home. So I waited for her outside, but she never came. When I went inside to look for her, that's so when I saw him. What did the man look like? It was difficult to tell, really. All that blood. As I said, he was a slight man, possibly an elf. He didn't appear to be possessing much physical power. He must have cast some sort of magic on her, he did. You didn't see him go into the house? No. And there's really no other way to enter the house that I couldn't see from where I was standing. I see. Good day, madam. Are there any developments in the murders? He looks at you thoughtfully, chewing an old half-smoked cigar. I do not have time to entertain travelers. Why should I listen to your babbling? I am here to offer my help. Spectacular. The foreigner is going to help us out. Well, I've got nothing to lose here. All these imbeciles working for me can't seem to turn up anything. The first murder site was at one white church landing between Greenwood Terrace and Temple Road. And the second was at 21 Dragon Turnabout off Temple Road. Go look them over for clues, and leave me the fuck alone. Thank you. Good day. Any clues to help me out? Well, the white church murderer, as the journalists have begun calling him, likes his prostitutes, he does. We got one back there. It goes by the name of Renee. She actually caught a glimpse of the degenerate while he was cutting up a friend of hers. She demanded we lock her up for protection because it spooked her so bad. You can speak with her. I see. Sounds like Jack the Ripper. Capital idea. Good day. What can you tell me of details of murder? Well, he likes to cut the hearts out of his victims with surgical precision, I might add. He seems to only attack prostitutes, and the best descriptions we have of him paints as a scrawny individual, perhaps an elf. I see. Interesting. Then we'll keep ring on for now while he investigates murderers. Only plus one intelligent smarter. What's this? Passport I found. Passport reads Wesley Carrington. 25 Dragons Turnabout, Calibon. Don't look like a detective now. I cannot help you, Alf Ogre. That was rather rude. I ask you question. What is it? Lock trap door. The inspector has sent word we should be expecting. I don't know how you did it, but I tip my hat to you where I wear one. 
This bitch don't look so good. Maybe we tell Inspector of Trapdoor. New information. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Your exertions do not seem to have any effect on what looks to be a trap door of some sort. It is much too heavy for Lug Lug to move. Hmm? Nothing too heavy for Lug Lug to move. You fucking in crazy. Lug Lug, strongest half ogre demon lord of all our kind of. I can do cock push ups. Can you do a cock push-up? I found trap door in one of them homes, but wasn't able to use it. Doesn't the remnants from the old city sewers no setting in beat now the volcanum is strong enough to lift them. When the sewer maintenance blokes need to ask you to access them, they use some type of machine. Besides, there's another mur murder to worry about now. If you could direct me to the newest murder site, I'll be off. 23 King's Way, the mushroom's in. One of the rooms there. I shall return. Lug Lug. Brother to Zug Zug. Word Lanamalak, written in what appears to be green blood. Lanamalak! Okay, wherever the fuck that is. Back to Inspector Gadget! I saw the name Lanamalak, written in green blood of all things. Blast it. Sounds like a demon name. He holds his head in his hands. I hate demons. Did I ever tell you about Amalek the demon that ran amok and deer around here? I had to go slogging through some god's forsaken swamp to find some ridiculous looking dagger to kill the fucking thing. Why can't you buy a good ceremonial dagger at the corner store? What should I do? You need to find a demonologist to talk to. I suggest talking to the demonologist to help me out. But he had a rather unfortunate run-in with the demon I was hunting. Demons don't like the demonologists giving away their secrets. Anything else? You best prepare to go fight some heinous creature in some dank dungeon. Bleeding demons? When do I get a case where I have to go to some nice tropical island to solve it? I'm too old for this balderdash. Hurry it up! The king's advisors get wing of this murder, being a demon, but try to call in pain. Who's pain? He's an overrated, overinflated, self-important big game hunter. The bloke has tracked down and killed just about everything you can think of, and everyone goes running to him at the slightest hint of trouble. I do not need his arrogance mucking about in my investigation. I am capable of getting this handled myself, thank you very much. You handle it? Don't you mean me? He throws up his hands in disgust. Am I going to have to begin dealing with your preposterous arrogance now? If you want to get the job, great. If not, leave me be. Calm down, I'll do job!
All right, so there's a demonologist in Tarant, so we need to travel back there. Have you spoken with him previously? I believe you can go to the wire you station and wire him a message, but I don't think I talked to him. I think I fucked that up. And besides, Lug Lug has been very excited about getting back on the boat. I'm not going to go for a ride. Yeah, whatever. I got the money. Alright, let's find this demonologist motherfucker. Alright, so let's head to Tarant University. How did that continue? Read all about it. Where's that bastard? Before you stands a tall, bookish man with spectacles perched on top of his head. He's oblivious to your presence, as if all his attention is focused on a telegram. Suddenly he becomes aware of your presence and looks up. Oh, excuse me. I get so involved in these telegrams people send me, I get questions from everywhere about demons. Amazing, really. Who might you be? He seems overjoyed to see you. Oh, an half ogre. I get so few opportunities to study those of your type. May I examine your head? My head? I suppose it cannot hurt. He moves his fingers quickly over the surface of your skull, muttering the whole time. He is obviously enjoying himself. Yes, yes, of course, perfect. Perfect. Excuse me, I need to ask you about a demon named Lenalmalak. Did you say Lenalmalak? By the gods, why did you not say so sooner? Uh, what can you tell me about him? It's very important. Yes, it is. Why do you persist in mocking about? This is serious business. I believe he is the White Church murderer. I had my suspicion those murders were demonic in nature, but I never suspected Lamanalak. This is bad news indeed. Why is this so bad? But now Manaklik is one of the few demons that has the ability to possess a living being. As such, he can move among us undetected. In days of old, human sacrifices of thousands of victims were required to satiate him. Once he was summoned, he will be with us for a long time if we do not act to stop him. He will summoned here? To what end? That is a long story. Let us simply say that the summoner is paying the penance for the summoning. He is the beast to present host. And he has been with the past five hundred years. I bet the elf wishes he was possessed of a shorter lifespan now. How did it come to possess this elf? As I said, it's a long story, but I think I have... Ah, here it is. The Legend of Terra de Vint. You can read the demon's story here. He gives you the book. I'm not much of a reader. Can you give me the highlights? I can give you a brief overview. The king of Tarant went suddenly mad. His young maid suspected demonic possession especially when the king started calling for virgin sacrifices so that he could eat the hearts of the poor victims. Go on? Well, the other maids decided to exorcise the demon himself without much preparation. The king died in the process, and the mage was unable to contain the demon. It killed hundreds of people before the mage was able to stop it. 
What happened then? He took the demon into his own body, hoping to be able to control it. Certainly he was brave, but this is not a particularly brilliant course of action. Who in their right mind would try to take a demon into their body, thinking they could contain it? The fact that he was an elf was unfortunate, as their longevity was giving the demon a long life in Arcanum. So he's been at large all this time? Not exactly. He wanted Arcanum killing wantonly until he believed he was buried alive. Around the time he disappeared, an enormous underground explosion was recorded in the catacombs meaning Caladum. It would appear he gained control over the beast long enough to drag himself underground and use its magics to collapse the tunnel. So why is he in the sewer? Exactly. I believe he was released when they began expanding the sewer system some months ago. He seems to have regained his partial control over the demon, as evidenced by the choice of victims. Obviously, he has some sort of moral objection to the profession. How do I kill the beast? You might be able to stab it through the heart with the blade of Xerxes. Let me guess, it's in a dungeon somewhere guarded by demons. Not just any dungeon, the Pit of Fires. Deep within the stone wall mountains, forged deep within the underworld by the fire demons. It is the only weapon in our kingdom that can be guaranteed to strike the demon down. If one was to try to defeat the demon with anything but the blade, it would be disastrous indeed. Why? If the blade is plunged into the heart of the host, the demon will be sent back to the underworld as the unfortunate host dies. If he is killed by any other method, the demon shall be loosed from the confines of his host, and he will be virtually unstoppable. That would be bad! Infinitely so. Are you going to retrieve the blade to put an end to his rampage? Yes. Where is the Stonewall Mountains and the Pit of Fires? It's simple to find, really. The entrance is a bit south. Uh, no, that's not the best way. It's a bit west of... <clears throat> Here, let me mark it on the map. It'll be simpler that way. This ought to be interesting. Good day. I have been smart for long enough. Time to go back to Lug Lug! Let's hunt demons with Demon Lord Lug Lug. That pit of fire. The pit of fires. like the end for you. No one else gives the melody in hand. I don't like you. You die and give me two points. Fantastic. Alright, we're going to leave him at eight charisma. Might possibly be able to get another party member this way. I just want to have the room just in case. Who you be? I am Shahadara, noble warrior from the Flame Keep. These are my brave companions, Morrowind, Rindike, and Frondo. Who might you be? I be Lug Lug. Oh, a village idiot. Well, my friend. What is it that you want of me? You know, like these assholes. I go to pick the fire. Show them who boss.
What is it that you... I'm going to confiscate Virgil's sword so he doesn't break it. Hurt my armor too. Shit. Holy shit. Uh, seriously good, sir. Please help me. Oh, that's not fucking good at all. Not good at all, folks. All right, now that we're back and not dead, Luck Luck got pummeled by fire elementals. <laughs> Proving that things can get dangerous here in the tunnels of turds. Disintegrate spell comes into great use because you don't really got to worry about getting armor damaged. Shit like that. The adventurers outside, you can actually end up getting them to come in here. Not going to happen with Lug Lug Intelligence or Lug Lug Pride for that matter. damage they do is fucking ridiculous. It is done. 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 Is it that you want of me? Yes, of course. I don't like leaving you alone. Three of these motherfuckers. that you want. I'm ready to get going when you are. Alright, so for some massive amounts of damage to your armor, and I mean massive, here's the adventurers that you see outside. If you decide not to send them in, 
This is, of course, their dead asses. that we need to kill a demon. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you back in Caledon next video.